Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We are back here in Prison Architect. It is day 20 at 8 a.m. or just before 8 a.m. And a few days have gone by in the prison since I last, since the last episode. I believe it was day 15, about 7 p.m. was when I last recorded. And, uh, or that was the time in the prison. And as you can see, a few things have changed, well, at least down here. And this is what I call the uh, Forestry Apocalypse. What is that, you ask? Well, the Forestry Apocalypse is when you zone a large amount of areas with forestry, thinking that you'll turn a big profit, only to find out that because you zoned this area, this area, this area, all of this as forestry, the game decides to order you about $100,000 worth of trees. Yes, indeed. As you can see, I still have 581 trees sitting in storage. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, my suggestion if you're going to implement forestry is do it in small batches. Start with a small area like this. It will order you a bunch of trees. Your gardeners will plant them and then add to it. Add another area. Your game will order you a bunch more trees. The gardeners will plant them. A few days will pass and your workmen will be able to start chopping them down. Then you'll start making money. Well, when I had done it, I had zoned pretty much all that, all this. I had some of this already as forestry. I zoned this all as uh, uh, forestry. And yeah, I had been ordered about 1,000 trees at about $100 a piece. Look at that, $100 for a tree. On the, down, on the upside, when you chop it down, and this is why people suggest uh, to go forestry and you'll make a lot of money, is, as you see, you get three logs and each log can be sold for $50. So you plant a tree for 100 you chop it down and sell it for 150 you make a $50 profit. Sounds easy. Well, the only thing is you should only zone a large area when you have a lot of money to absorb the cost of those upfront trees. I basically spent four and a half days trying to pay off the $100,000 debt. I was at negative $97,000. And it was all I could do to have my workmen chop down trees, sell off the logs, and all of that and it was really frustrating because once I got to a positive balance and it took like three days maybe the game then ordered me another twenty thousand dollars worth of trees to of course replant where the trees had already been cut down lovely so I spent another day <laughs> spent <laughs> I spent another day Chopping down trees, trying to make enough money in order to pay off that. Because when you have a negative balance, you cannot build anything. You can't lay down foundations. You can't you know, create cells. Your cell capacity is pretty much as is until you get back in the positives. And yeah, it sucks. <laughs> and so I finally got rid of that uh, another 20,000 negative. And then what did the game do? It bought me another $5,000 worth of trees to replace the ones that had been cut down. <laughs> uh, I, it, and then even then, the game was still ordering me trees. Every time I got out of the negatives, I got a couple hundred dollars positive. It would order me a bunch more trees to put me back in the negatives. It, there's just doing this over and over and over and over again. And the only way to get rid of it, way to stop it, was just to get rid of all this forestry. I do have this here. I do have this here. And that is just, you know, I have 581 trees. It's not going to be ordering me trees for a long time, hopefully. Now, with that said, if you have a couple hundred thousand dollars in your bank account, go ahead. Zone out uh, a bunch of forestry. It's not going to hurt you because you have the money. And it'll take a few days to grow, and uh, then you can harvest. But uh, I'd advise if you are short on money, don't think that forestry will be instant get rich quick.
quick scheme because, well, it, it isn't. <laughs> anyway, we are currently just before 8 a.m. and I have recorded this twice already, or tried to record this episode twice. Both times let the time roll and miss intake. And that's not what I want to do. Because I don't want to go another day without an intake. And I had closed down my intake because I couldn't focus on what my prisoners were doing. And I just let my prisoner capacity run down. I have 97 prisoners at the moment. And so with that said, let's jump into another effect of the forestry apocalypse. Was I basically spent... A couple hours just sitting here at the computer letting the game run. However long it takes for uh, the uh, days to tick by. Waiting for myself to get back into a positive balance so that I could record and not be recording, you know, half an hour, hour of, oh, look at me, I'm in the negatives. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have 17 high-risk prisoners, and what I'd like to do is I would like to wait until I have more maximum security cells and currently I don't really have the money to build them although I have laid down pipe as well as put down walls as you can see here all I have to do is put in beds and other stuff there so that'll be good so until I have more capacity for high risk then I'm going to keep high risk as is. That's going to be closed. Normal risk. I should have uh, deployment. I have two cell blocks, which is 40, I think. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Yep. I got 40. So I can bring in 12 medium risk if I want to. Let's uh, do that. And yep, yeah, for now, drop the drop that. That will give me six thousand dollars. And one thing I could have done to try to uh, balance my budget was to bring in for those four days was to bring in prisoners. That would have helped cut things down. We did have a number of prisoners who did get early release, and I did get the bonus, which did help cut down the amount of uh, how long it took. Anyway, we have uh, three cell blocks, although we have only 58 cells rather than 60. So that's going to be, I can bring in 12 more. And not high risk, low risk. Yep. And that's an all save. And because I was annoyed by the autosave, I set it to an interval of 30 minutes. So there shouldn't be as many autosaves as there have been. Build a classroom. Nope. Okay. Yeah, one thing with the uh, when you load up a game is that it has no concept of what actually you have in the prison. They did resolve the issue where pipes would not have any pressure and the game would have to let time run to uh, have the pipes fill up with water which is kind of silly but uh, yeah anyway we have six protective custody and if you remember in one of the previous episodes uh, yeah it was retarded my uh, protective custody inmates did end up sneaking out and actually uh when I was doing my forestry apocalypse, another thing had happened, I believe. This had gotten uh, set as shared. And so what ended up happening is I had a bunch of protective custody inmates getting or leaving the uh, protective custody area through here, out to here. And one prisoner actually, one protective custody actually did get shanked. And I was really pissed off about that because they shouldn't be out there yeah I really I really hate that how you'll change something like I think it was I changed yes I moved the doors that were here that were originally here I put them here 
As soon as I removed the second one, it turned this all shared. Even though it was all... Um, even though this was all staff only to start with, as soon as I changed where this the doors were, this all went shared for some reason. Which of course allowed my protective custody to escape. Anyway, um, that's going to be... <laughs> That's going to be half an episode of me ranting, so let's just get 24 new prisoners. And they are coming in right now. 9600 dollars. Let's uh, check the informant screen. Do we have... There we go. Oh, look at that. A snitch. You know what? Paul Mitchell. You are protective custody. Wouldn't it be interesting if they got shanked while on the bus? <laughs> well, he wasn't in my prison. To <laughs> and we got one unknown. And yes, I have also indeed had another snitch die. Where's the morgue? Where is the morgue? Is he? No, he's not in there. Yeah, he got taken out. It was like a few days ago in game. But basically, yeah, there was a maximum security prisoner. And... Or was he a maximum security? That doesn't really matter. It does not matter. But yeah, anytime you make any sort of structural change to the prison, you always have to come back to deployment. You always have to. Otherwise, weird stuff will happen. And yeah, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> but that is that. And we can just move on. Anyway. So we are getting our prisoners. And actually, there should be. Ooh, that's right. There's. Eight prisoners per bus, and we are bringing in... Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, okay. Alright, so th this is the third bus, and we just have the snitch. Stoical, tough. That's fine. Right now we have $10,000, so what I might as well do is get these cells done. I'm going to designate that all a cell. Objects. Bed. No, I'm going to put yeah, the beds here. Or no, no. No, no, no. Bed here. Yeah, that's right. And we're also going to need toilets. And let's just see how long it takes my uh, workmen to get around to doing all this. All right. Now, this is ready to go. And I decided to take put their, uh, their showers and toilets in the yard indoors rather than being outside like the these ones out here. It is the same effect regardless. So what are they complaining about? You have a six cell. Six grade or grade six cell Macaulay. Wait a minute. Am I missing something? Yes, indeed. I no longer have a death row prisoner. I never, I don't have a death row prisoner. And yet, Chris DeLay, you are... Wait a minute. What was my, who, who was my uh, death row prisoner? prisoner? Yeah. 
I no longer have death roll? Where did he go? Who was my... There he is. Ulbricks? Dylan. Andrew Dylan. You gained clemency. Interesting. All right. And you are in a a one grade one cell. Yep, I never noticed that happening. But it looks like there will be no Seriously? You came in through here? You came in through here. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. Oh, you're coming through here, and now you're going out there. And because I do not have... Oh, this is so annoying. This is connected to... Oh, it's so annoying. The pathfinding of visitors and... Anyway. <laughs> that is not really important. Alright, so... Nothing much has been happening. Let's do a shakedown. Two dollars for bleach, two hundred dollars library books. We got two hundred seventy-eight dollars cash flow. Now, are they anywhere near? Of course not. Jobs. Job queued. Oh, that's right. So what are they doing? Job in progress. Install tree in forestry. Really? Move tree to storage. <laughs> really? Okay. Job in progress. Salt tree in forestry and all right. Yep. Well, we might as well hire a few more workmen. Nope. Let's uh, throw them out here. And of course, they are install salt toilet in yard piping yard. Okay. Although, yeah, they have to go off and get it, so. Anyway. We'll just continue on with a shakedown. And I believe we did have a tunnel was discovered off camera in the protective custody. Now, exports. I don't have any exports at the moment. That's right. I'm going to just sell these. All right. Oh, please don't tell me you're going back to... It would be nice if you guys brought more stuff over. <laughs> well, all right, you're at least working on that. That's not too, too bad. 670, 680 out of 950 spots searched. What did we find? Three clubs, spoon, four needles, three medicines, three scissors, two booze, 
eight poison, two cigarettes, cell phone, and two drugs. Oh, we got another $9,000 for early release. Anyone else? For our prison grading, we have a reoffending rate of a disappointing 23% of the 58 prisoners who have been released. 27 were paroled early. So about uh, 31 served their full sentence. Of the 27, 7% got reoffended, which is actually probably maybe two of them, I think. Our prison is worth 930,000, daily profits of 5841, current capacity of 167, seven deaths in custody, unfortunately. Yeah. Fortunately, there are no escapes. Anything built in here? Not a whole lot. All right. I had previously tried to block the maximum security from this yard. Unfortunately, we were having some issues with uh, hygiene because it was the only place they were able to take a shower. Because I have not yet got this set up. And as a result, we did have some prisoners kicking off. A few people actually died as a result. But overall, even with the shakedown ongoing... Danger level is low. 59 prisoners say they are well treated. 16 prisoners have serious complaints. 15 prisoners are shackled in their cells or in solitary. 42 prisoners are suppressed and compliant. Six armed guards are in service. And, uh, yeah, 22 prisoners have been unnecessarily searched. Nope, 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 nope. There's a typo here. It's supposed to be necessarily been searched. <laughs> yes, indeed. They have necessarily been searched. Stone Lake. <laughs> yeah, and one of the reasons why the protective custody most likely went out here to use the yard was because it was all it was it was shared and this was actually defined as a yard. Therefore it it makes sense. And even if this was secured around uh, with no access out, if they were sent to the yard, they would be escorted there. So it's not like the prisoners fault or mistake that they did it, but uh, it's a little bit annoying that it did happen. But yeah, anyway, the shakedown is ongoing and we found a fair bit of stuff. Although, of course, uh, we're waiting on all this. And interestingly enough, it hasn't really caused any issues in the prison. What are the prisoners needs right now? Hygiene, for the most part, is good. Some of them are taking care of it. Recreation, family, exercise. And how is the mail room doing? Let's just uh, take you into the... Yeah, mail satchels. Why is this? I was reading on Steam, and uh, there's one person that commented that the mail room is currently bugged and it's because it fills up the entire room with uh, mail satchels <laughs> so actually no you know you don't need to go in there all right this would be an example of where it is a little bit bugged anyway let's take a look at jobs and Dump food waste, dump rune book, dump food raised. Seriously? 
There's only one guy doing the cells. Construct fence. Let's, if we can, staff another four workmen. It would be nice if there was a way to prioritize tasks. Kind of like how they haven't banished. Simon Griffin. <laughs> you are locked down permanently. Although I imagine that your... Um, Hygiene is probably... Let's end your punishment. Your hygiene is probably crazy high. Who is snapping off? Anyway, that might be the end it for me today. Looks like uh, everything settled down. We got some cash, which is good. And yeah, most of my workmen are spending time cutting down trees, which might be good once you have a prison that has been finished and built. You can have them dedicate their time to cutting down trees. But right now, I want them to actually build shit. <laughs> Yes, it'll make me money, but, uh, well, there are no trees currently or logs currently being stored in storage, so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this episode of Prison Architect. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.